Welcome back to my channel Iraqi Dinar Digest, I hope you are all will be fine God give you more happiness and prosperity, if you new on my channel subscribe for more updates about Iraqi Dinar and Vietnamese Dong News Hound Guru Militia Man highlighted a statement from Al Sudani, who said, the time has come for Iraq to take its natural place in the international community. Militia Man believes this message will resonate with everyone signaling that significant changes may be on the horizon. He urged people to stay ready and pay close attention to what unfolds next. Newshound guru Sandy Ingram noted that there has been frequent mention of international standards from the Central Bank of Iraq. He expressed hope that this focus signals Iraq's intention to join the international community in the near future. Intel Group Frank 26 shared updates on Iraq's ongoing discussions about removing the three zeros from its currency. Firefly, reporting from the ground, mentioned that for the past five days, Iraqi news has been focused on this topic, which seems to be gaining attention daily. Frank 26 clarified that while the focus on the three zeros has intensified recently, this conversation has been ongoing for the past five months though it is now being discussed with much more frequency. Newshound Guru Militiaman added that Iraq is emphasizing economic confidence, consumption, and investment, but questioned the credibility of these ambitions given the current exchange rate of 1,310 dinars to the US dollar. He pointed out that Iraq has fluctuated between various exchange rates ESA 1,310, 1,180, 1,166, 1,182, and 1,460 a without significant progress in international markets. Militiaman expressed doubt that Iraq can restore confidence in the global financial system or play a major role at the current rate, especially since the country is still not listed on international forex trading. Frank 26 highlighted the growing excitement in Iraq and beyond. What was once a secret is now openly discussed, from New York and the US Treasury to Iraq and the wider Middle East. The whole region is eagerly anticipating the impact of these changes. Frank noted that Iraq's moves are no longer limited to internal developments they are now being recognized on a global scale, with other countries watching closely. In related economic news, a Kuwaiti magazine revealed that Iraq was the second Gulf country to award contracts worth over $2 billion in August, reflecting Baghdad's shift towards rebuilding and modernizing its infrastructure. Iraq recorded contracts worth $2.4 billion, second only to Saudi Arabia. The magazine also noted that Iraq had previously secured $2.5 billion in contracts in July, including a significant project to develop and operate the Baghdad Metro. This underscores Iraq's focus on infrastructure development as part of its economic reforms. Meanwhile, Iraq's central bank continues to manage the currency exchange rate. The selling price of documentary credits and international settlements for electronic cards remains at 1,310 dinars per dollar, while the same rate applies to remittances abroad. The cash selling price is slightly higher at 1,350 dinars per dollar, signaling the ongoing adjustments in the country's financial policies. According to Intel guru Frank 26, Iraqi Prime Minister Sudani has traveled extensively visiting numerous countries and their financial institutions to encourage investment in Iraq. During these visits, the Iraqi dinar reportedly gained international status, and Sudani showcased it to potential investors. This is believed to be the reason behind the surge of financial infrastructure being directed towards Iraq. As a result, the economic reforms in the country are expected to accelerate even further, building on the progress already made.